Pocket Monsters Card Game. Ultra Ball. What is this thing? Well, first of all, I'm not going to open this. I just wanted to show that to you. What is it? It's a bunch of bootleg cards. So this is not an unboxing, not a pack opening. This is going to be story time. I'll talk a little bit about these bootleg cards. So if you're here for an unboxing, this is not the video for you. Move on now. Nothing to see here. But if you want to hear a story, and if you want to see some bootleg cards, then gather around the Flygon. Stay a while and listen. Okay, so bootleg cards have been around for, I don't know, since the beginning of time. Pokemon card time, anyway. Uh, when I was a kid, there were a lot of bootleg cards and they were printed on really terrible cardboard. So the moment you feel it, you would be able to tell right away, oh, this is complete garbage. This is not a real Pokemon card. You can tell. Unless you're just really dumb, but you can tell. And back then, the cards weren't that crazy. They were just, like, regular cards. The best cards you could get were the holo rares. But times have changed, and we have some crazier cards now. And EXs, GXs, and soon, V. And as a result, the cards look a lot better now. I mean, card quality in general, I feel like, is probably a little bit better now as well. It could be cheaper because it's mass-produced more, but I feel like the card quality has improved over the years, or at least some print runs are better than a lot of the older prints. Who knows? Some people may disagree, but anyway, that's not the point. The point I want to talk about is these bootleg cards. So, some of my students, they play Pokemon. Um, some of them, I gotta bring their hands up, play Pokemon. So they, like, collect the cards and then they, like, make up their own rules for it and stuff. That's what I mean. Uh, I used to do that as a kid, too. Back in the Stone Ages. And um, I don't know how it happens, but a lot of fake cards get circulated, these bootleg cards. Probably because, I don't know, parents or the kids are like, oh, can you buy me some Pokemon cards? And parents are like, okay, sure. And then they buy a bunch of bulk Pokemon cards like this. You can get this for like 5 to $10. And it's 100 EXs and GXs. You can get other ones as well. I've seen several different ones. This is just one of them. I've actually bought a couple of them just for fun. And uh, the kids don't know. They don't know any better. Either because they don't have experience with it, because you know, they're kids, they don't have the money to buy cars themselves. Or people just tell them that they're real and they start believing it. So they have all these fake cards. It's really unbelievable because sometimes they're given a card, and it's like a, a rainbow rare or some kind of secret rare, and they're like, oh yeah, my friend gave it to me for free. And then you look it up, it's like a $100 card. Why would your friend give away a $100 card? So, like, I have to, you know, I can't lie to them. I can't be like, yeah, that's a $100 card. Got him. No, your friend didn't give you a $100 card. Your friend probably gave you, like, a one-cent card. And it's one of those bootleg prints. And then they go through all the stages of grief. Well, they call it, like, the... Kubler something model, I don't remember, where it's like denial, anger, and then finally acceptance, something like that. I don't remember too much about that. Well, usually that's for like death and stuff, but okay, well, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make is they deny it, they get angry about it, and then they finally accept it. Because I actually have a lot of the cards that they have, the fake ones, so I'm like, okay, how about this? Next time I'll bring the card over, and I'll show you what a real one looks like. And then like, oh, okay. So I show them, and they're like, okay, fine. It's fake. It looks very fake. And I don't want it to be like, oh, you're, you're breaking their hearts. You're, you're being evil and all that stuff. It's not really like that. It's like, you know, if you have the cards and you like them, then there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, if you, if you like these cards, and you probably do, because they actually look pretty cool now, then yeah, nothing wrong with that. But it's good not to be deceived, like to know the actual truth. These are not real cards, so you shouldn't go around saying they're real, you're unintentionally lying to people, or you're trying to trick people. You want to be honest, right? That's the point. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what happens. That's my little story. And these cards I've noticed, ever since buying some of them, they're actually quite good at uh, you know, being really similar to the real cards. So what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to show you some of these cards. I'm going to show you two cards side by side, and then you can figure out which one is real. You can decide which one is real. We're going to start with the EXs, because the EXs are a little more convincing than the GXs. 
Probably because they've had more time to, like, master the style of the EXs. But I'll show you the GXs as well. I just dug up whatever I could, and then I found the ones that I actually had bootlegs of. So you let me know, and then you can tally it at the end or something. Play a little game. How many did you get right? Okay, so let's begin. I'm shuffling two cards at the moment. I'm not going to show you the card backs because they kind of give it away. And it's completely random. I'm going to shuffle them on the screen now. Okay. This is Mewtwo EX from Next Destinies. Which one is real? Which one is fake? We can make a tally of it. Okay. And I won't really analyze it until the very end. And we'll talk about it a little bit more after. But I just want you to... Now play the game for now. Okay, so X-Ball Mewtwo. Which one is fake? If you answered this one, then you would be wrong. This is the real one. This is the fake one. Okay. So I'm gonna leave them off screen, because I don't want to spoil it, because there are some tells, I guess. Next one, I feel like this one's really easy. This is Pikachu Full Art from Generations. I'm closing my eyes when I'm doing this, so I don't know how I'm shuffling it. Okay. Pikachu Full Art from Generations. I love this card so much. One of my favorite cards from the set. Which one is real? If you answered this one, then you would be wrong. Because I asked you which one is real, and this one's fake. Again, I will not mention anything about it yet. We'll talk about it after. I personally feel like if you have experience with actual cards, real cards, it's probably a bit easier for you to figure this out. Like, you probably won't get any wrong. But let's say you're not as experienced, either because you don't have as many cards, or you don't have as much experience with cards. I mean, it makes sense, okay? It's... Realistically speaking, this is not a cheap hobby, so a lot of people out there, they don't have the cards. So it's, it's understandable. But yeah, this is just for fun. No shaming, okay? Do not shame people if they get it wrong. You can share that you got it wrong if you want. I don't care. It's for fun, like I always say. And I did put these inside sleeves. These are penny sleeves. It kind of adds a little bit of a mystique element to it. Some of them look a little more real when they're in penny sleeves. Alright, so this is Shaman EX from Roaring Skies. One of my favorite cards in the XY series. Which one is fake? If you guessed this one, you'd be right. That's a fake Shaman. Bad. These penny sleeves, they feel so bad. I usually double sleeve them. This was actually kind of tedious, setting up with this video. Like, actually... A setting up element of this video. You should just wing it. But I had to take some of the cards out of top loaders, double sleeves, find them. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the cards are from the same sets because I didn't want to dig up more stuff. Tyranitar EX from Ancient Origins. Some of these are getting harder, right? Especially like the darker color ones. You can't really tell. Sometimes you can. If you guessed this one for the fake card, you would be wrong. The other one was fake. Was it? Was it? Was it, was it, was it? See, this is really hard to figure out. I, I switched it. See, I'm, I'm so evil. I actually shifted it. Can you tell which one's fake? Ooh. Okay, this one actually confuses me a lot. Um, there are some tells for it. This is Promo Blastoise, the, the tin. Okay. Jeez, I, I actually can't tell. That's the funny thing. I cannot tell. Ha! Huh. It's a hard one. If you guessed, I'm gonna try and wing it. If you guessed this one as the fake one, you'd be right. I'm 90% sure this is the fake one. I'm not 100% sure. 
I am 90% sure this is the fake one. Yeah. So this is the fake one. I keep shifting it. It's so evil. Is it? This one really is hard. Yeah, this one should be the fake one. Whew. Insane. All right, another Blastoise. This is, what is this one? Generations Blastoise. Mega Blastoise EX from Generations. I always say, like, the EX cards, they look fake because they have the, the Japanese text across. The Japanese versions have the English text across. A lot of the older cards, um, they used to take liberties with them because, you know, some people just don't have Pokemon cards. So you can't tell anyway. All right, which one is it? Which one is fake? I'm probably making the, the springs. Okay, I shouldn't do that. The metal clamp that I use. Uh, if you guessed this one for the fake one, you would be wrong. This is the other one. This is the fake one. Okay, we're almost done. This is... What is this logo? Ancient Origins again. Mega Ampharos from Ancient Origins. Ooh. Which one is it? Let's do it like this then. Is this fake? Is this fake? If you said yes, you would be wrong. It's this one. This is the fake one. Two more. I guess four more. This is Mega Rayquaza EX, the dragon one from Roaring Skies. I don't know why I'm still shuffling. I keep getting caught. These sleeves are huge. They're really big, these penny sleeves. I don't like them. Which one is fake? I cannot tell from this angle. I have to move around a bit to tell which one's fake. If you guessed this one, you'd be right. This is the fake Mega Rayquaza EX. And the last one is... Zapdos from Plasma Storm, I think. Which one is fake? If you guessed this one, you would be right. But if you guessed this one, you would also be right, because they're both fake. Ha 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 ha. Hopefully you didn't fall for that one. Okay. Um, so let's put them all back. Let's take a look here. Before we look at the, the GXs, which... I think you should probably be able to tell which one's fake. For the GXs, especially. Um, like this one for sure. Okay, why is there... Like the... The glary stuff on this. There shouldn't be that glary stuff because the Generations full art hollow pattern is actually different. So this is just obvious. This one's like super obvious. Unless you've only seen this, you might think, or you've only seen the other ones, you might think this is real, but no. That's not how Generations works. And this is actually one of my favorite styles. So I always say, I want more cards that look like this. We'll put the, the fake ones on the top. Uh, this one's fake. This one is fake. This one's so hard, seriously. I think this is probably the hardest one. <sighs> I won't leave it to last. This one's fake. This one's kind of hard, too. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Is it? Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, this one is fake. You can tell when you move it around, so I guess I'll, I'll mention it. Um, the regular, the the normal ones... Wow, this one's really hard to, to tell. Because they both look fake. That's hilarious. It's this one, though. You can see the glare. It's got the lines. So, and then you have this one. The lines don't really 
have like that one uniform thing. There are lines, but you can see the, the hollow pattern is a little more spread out, and this one is just like non-existent except for those two lines. And then a lot of the hollow patterns on this one just kind of stretch out to here and go across here because this is not full art. But this one, it's like full art texture or full art hollow. So this is fake. And these are both fake. Uh, this one's fake and this one's fake. So these are the fake hearts. So you can see the glare. I'm going to move the camera a bit. Oh, wow. I guess, oh, okay. On camera, I'm just looking at it now because I haven't seen it on camera. On camera, you can really tell that they're fake. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this was not even a quiz. Like, even this one, you can tell immediately because there's that line right there. For this one, the line is just, like, bleeding down. This one, too. And then the regular ones, they actually look okay. They look normal. So this was not really a quiz. I should have tested it beforehand. But it's okay. Like, if you... It's just for fun, right? Oh, this one's kind of hard, actually. But it's this one. So you can see, like, the... Especially if I put it closer to the light. You can see how, how good this one looks. Like, you can actually see the sparkles. And this one's just... Like a blob of glare. <laughs> it's disgusting. Okay. But if you didn't have like an LED shining on top of it, it's a lot harder to tell. And in real life, it's a lot harder to tell. Like the Blastoise, this one here. Like I cannot tell in real life. If I look at the, the camera, it's like, oh, it's obvious. But in real life, I don't see this line here. This line doesn't exist in real life. They, this one actually has those lines more than this one. So you'd have to get one of these to really know what I mean. This one's just all glare. Ugh. Alright, let's look at the GXs now. I'm really close to the mic. What's my favorite card? Shaman. For Shaman... Like, look at this glare. Oh my god. The... It's just like a... Reflective rainbow. Which is pretty cool, but... Nah. Look at this one, okay? Shaman's eyes glow. This Shaman's just... Rainbow. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sorry about that. That hurt. Look at the glare though. Look at that, look at this. Looks so nice. And this one. Alright. So the reason why I didn't do the GXs first is because you can tell. Like immediately. Okay, I'm not even gonna. See, it's so obvious. This stuff looks like EX stuff. The EX card design. So you can tell immediately. This is a fake Ultra Necrozma. And some of them are faded too. So this one, not so much. But look at how fat the borders are. And then again, you see the rainbows, the, the glare patterns. Sun and moon glare, or sun and moon uh, hollow is like slanted. And then XY is vertical. So there's no reason for Umbreon to have a vertical glare, vertical hollow pattern. And then this one's actually really disgusting. What's going on here? They ran out of ink? So they have the, the nasty pattern compared to the, the cool Tapu Lele. Oh, it looks so nice. Look at that. Oh, look how beautiful this is. And then look at this one. Ooh. I know I'm really close, but I have to actually see it. So this one, this one's like super dark for some reason. And then if you look at the bottom, the purple color is just weird. Did you mention the card backs too? These card backs are actually not that bad. Some of them look really bad. So from the card backs, I don't think you can tell. Huh, that's crazy. But when you look at the front, it's obvious, right? 
Like you can see how the, the ripples in the water on the left one, they kind of look like a, a splash of rainbows. And the other one is just the same pattern again. Sickening. Cartana. You know, because this card looks so stupid, I guess you can see it when I do that. They actually look pretty similar. Yeah, it looks pretty nice when I slant it like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, even the bottom here, the GX move, you can see there's a hollow on it, hollow pattern on it. And this one is just, ooh, rainbow. Lorantis GX? Sun and Moon? Yeah. You, you can't really replicate the Sun and Moon hollow pattern properly, huh? That's what it seems like. Well, these were from a, a couple years back, right? These are older cards. So they probably weren't ready to print Sun and Moon style. I'd imagine if I buy newer bootleg cards, they would actually be a little bit better now. And then I also imagine that once V comes out, uh, those cards are also going to look kind of strange. Like they're going to have the, the GX pattern, even though it makes no sense. Expensive Charizard. This one looks horrible. Look at that. And yeah, that's not too bad. Last one is Dusk Main Necrozma. Yeah, it's too dark. Colors are discolored. Focus. Focus. You can see it slightly discolored in the glare. Okay, so. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because I think it's fascinating. And then one of these days, I will probably get some more fake cards, more bootleg cards. I'll probably do this again. It'd be awkward if I actually picked out the wrong ones. Oh, it's gonna suck for this one because I can't see properly for some of them. I gotta put these back in my binder. Binders. Oh, jeez, this one. I think this one's fake. I shouldn't drop the fake ones. I really can't tell for this one. But I'm pretty sure this one's fake. It would be really awkward if I put the fake one in the binder. This one. This one's horrible. Uh, geez, they're so similar. Uh, with the naked eye, anyway. I'm pretty sure this is fake. It's so hard to tell, though. For some of these older ones. I hope I got them all right. I'm so scared. Wait, I'm gonna double check. I gotta go up here. Prepare for glare. Yeah, so the, the glare pattern is the same. Yeah, that's the main way you can tell. Okay, these ones, I'm pretty sure I got them all. Sun and Moon ones are really obvious. Like, you can see how discolored they are. Right, doesn't even match the right colors. Oh, this one's a little bit... No, it's fake. I'm scared, though. Oh, GX's the sides also look really nice, right? So these are all slanted. I'm just scared about the blast twice. <sighs> Most of these... Yeah, you can't really tell from the back anymore. It's pretty crazy. Alright then. I guess that's it. That was my little... Not unboxing. Fun little story. Story time with... A bunch of... Cool cards. Which card's my favorite here? Honestly, I actually like this Charizard. I'm always complaining about too many Charizards, but I really like this one, the art. And the boot, boot leg one. Uh, Shoot him in. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Probably an actual unboxing. Here, you can have a Cosmic Eclipse code. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. 
Don't get tricked. 